this isn't really as much as a furry hate video as it is a zoophile hate video. There's there's a lot of boundaries in life and a lot of stuff you can and you can't do. And there's a thin there's a there's a thin line. Sometimes it's hard to tell. But if you need someone to tell you that you shouldn't fuck animals, I don't know what you should do with your life, honestly. No no one can help you. You're sick. You're like a freak and you should commit low tier god. I don't think I can say that. I don't think I should like actively tell people to do that. And I'll, I'll probably get a warning or a strike for, for the, if I did that. So I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. But you understand what I mean when I tell you to go commit low tier god. If you, like, there's furries. I understand what they do is a little weird sometimes. But it's just dressing up as an animal in, a, in its core, to its heart. Like cat girls. Cat girls are fine. They're, they're not really furries. They're like, they, they existed before furries did. Like this example on the screen. We have an anime character, Komi. She's not actually really a cat girl, technically speaking. But we're just gonna pretend that she is. Because I don't like spam watch anime with my life. I do other things, but I do watch anime in some of my free time. So in this example, she has cat ears, as you can see. That is cat girl, that is not furry, that is n that's far away from furry. Or just anything like that, at all, really. But for some reason, people nowadays seem to think that that is bad, even though it's not. Furries themselves aren't really bad, they're just kind of weird. This this video is not about that, it's just zoo files. Why would you why would you do that? Honestly? Animals can't consent. Technically speaking they can, but really can they? Can a lower, less intelligent being consensualize to a higher intelligence being? It doesn't understand what's going on. It's an animal. It, it has no understanding of what's happening. What you freak. This, this, mostly the bad things that I say are directed towards the zoophiles. Just die in a hole or something like step on a bear trap. Just do something that's not living basically. Because that's what you deserve in your sad, pathetic life if you do this. If you actively have intercourse and sex with animals. If you've ever really done that. If you have done it and you have understood your wrongdoings and you sincerely feel sorry. Then it's okay. It's not okay what you did, but it's okay that you understand that what you did was horrible and that you were a sick freak. But if, if you've ever done that in your life, you really, if you've just done that, or you still do it, you sh and you actually just don't feel bad for it, even if you still do it and you feel bad for it, that doesn't really matter because you're still doing it. It's a really simple thing to not do. Your parents tell you, oh, don't play with fire, but you're so curious. You know what you shouldn't be curious about? Sticking your penis into a dog or a cat. Or having a dog or cat stick their penis in you. I don't know what gender you are. You're a freak, and that's all I'm going to identify you as. You don't deserve a title other than freak and human garbage if you do this. <laughs> That's what I think about your kind. There's nothing else to say. I'm just gonna keep... I, I'm just gonna keep going on a rant. But honestly, like, if you do that, we, we just need to start bringing back, like, public execution and killings. Like, we should start putting people's heads on spikes and stuff. I feel like back in those days, it was, like, just slightly better because whenever you did something super wrong... 
there was a severe punishment for it and no one was really willing to do it. But that's that's really all I have to say. In this rant, I guess you could call it. I've been talking for five minutes and it feels like it's been 30 seconds. Again, if you have sexual intercourse with animals or any anything like that with animals or children, children included, minors, if you rape minors, if you molest minors, if you groom minors, kill yourself. I can't say it. I'm probably going to censor that out. Just go, like, into the forest to a cannibal tribe. I hope they eat your testicles and, like, rip you to tiny pieces, though. That'd be great. That'd be one hell of a retribution. I can say that for sure. But that That's really all I have for this minute. It's six minutes now. Six minutes of me telling zoo files to go die in a hole. But seriously, why why would you do that? Zoo files and furries are very cru- zoo files, child predators, furries, they're all very closely connected, but that's the public that's the public minority. There I forgot the word for it. But there's a lot of furries, a lot of them don't do that. But the reason why you think a lot of them do is because only the instances of them doing that get popular. The incidents, the instances of bad furries molesting children and skinning dogs for pelts are the ones that you see the most because they get popular faster because it's an extreme thing that happened. I'm not saying I hate furries. I find it a little weird, but in their hearts, they just dress like animals. But if you decide that you kind of want to be an animal and you bark at people, that's a little weird. But if you decide you want to be an animal, you want to have intercourse with an animal, or children, or anything like that, because you think that it's okay, and just know it's not okay, and you should honestly just put yourself out of your own misery. You're probably too broke and fat and alone to afford a heavy-duty rope to for you to, from you to hang on. Just find electrical wires and, like... Plug them into a high, high outage of uh, the, 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 plug them into a high voltage outlet and just like touch yourself with it, make physical contact with it, and go zzz and die. We should start putting people's heads on spikes as warnings, as messages of threats. We should start st- chaining people to the public. And wa- just letting people watch them starve to death and die. What sort of sick, disgusting human being must you do to do that? And you, some people are proud about it. Some people go on the internet actively proud about it and talk about how animals can consent. You can talk about how much you want to fuck... What's a random hot Pokemon name? Gardevoir, I, I don't know, I'm not Vaporeon, I could care less, you wanna know why? Cause it's fictional, and you never will, but if you actually start having intercourse with a fish, that's when it gets different, that's when it gets serious and in real life, and that's when you should become a corpse, that's when you should, I am in your walls, breathing through your vents, I'm Eating the rats that live in your wall. Yes, there's probably rats in your wall. I wouldn't doubt it. Just know that you are a sick human being. I'm not atheist, but I don't follow a god. And I hope that there's a heaven and a hell. And I hope you get brutally molested by clowns all day. And I hope you don't enjoy it. You probably would enjoy it, but I just hope you don't. For the sincere fact that you deserve suffering and pain. I hope everyone you ever care about gets gets not alive anymore directly in front of your eyes. I hope the next time you eat something spicy, you snort it and you it hurts. I hope it hurt I hope you snort it deep up into your nostril and it burns. 
I hope you eat salt and vinegar chips and a piece of crumb flies into your eyeball because that's exactly what you deserve. Any, you, no one loves you. And if anyone actually does love you, they're probably just another sick human being, sick freak like you that deserves to die or they don't know what you do. And for those people, I, I truly feel sorry for, and I feel sorry for the animals that you've ever been around in your life. That's... I said I was going to stop talking five minutes ago. But th this is the end. Just know that you should, like, just just hang on a rope or something, like, honestly. And that's, that's all you deserve in your sad, pathetic, miserable life.